Hi, I'm Elizabeth Tricasi, Life and Productivity Coach with the Clean Slate, and I have an update on my surgery. I will be having rotator cuff surgery on my right shoulder May 23rd, which is just about a month away. And all I know for certain is that four weeks after that surgery date, my right arm, which is my dominant arm, is going to be completely immobile. And so it's time to get planning. And that means a brain dump. I prefer starting with a brain dump instead of a to-do list. I find that to-do lists, um, one, can feel overwhelming. And two, I think that subconsciously, whenever we put something on a to-do list, we take ownership of it. We think it's ours. And that's not always true. And it can make it harder to delegate it to somebody else because we feel that it that it's ours. Uh, so for those reasons, I prefer using um, what I call a brain dump. And uh, what I like is it's, um, for me, I find that you get a lot of relief with the brain dump. And it allows me to get out of my head all the things that are taking up space and I don't have to worry so much. Um, so it brings a, um, like I said, a sense of relief. It makes it easier to sleep. It's a lot less stressful knowing that those things have been captured. You know, our, our brains can only do so much. And so I'm sure you have uh, perhaps forgotten something, misplaced something, lost something, because I know I have, and I think everybody can relate to that. And I think some of that comes because we are multitasking and we just have too much going on in our heads and getting that, get, you know, getting some of this stuff out and freeing up that bandwidth, I think can only help reduce, not eliminate, but reduce the amount of uh, forgetting and losing of things. So that's why um, some of the reasons I like to start with this uh, brain dump. So for me, what that means is uh, just having a piece of paper. And yes, I'm a good old fashioned uh, pen and paper girl. So I literally have a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and anything that's on my mind just goes on that paper. You know, maybe you want to use notes on your phone. Maybe you want to use your computer. Um, the whole point is whatever is really easy for you to access to both capture what comes up for you and then to retrieve it when you need it. Uh, so whatever is easiest for you, I prefer pen and paper. And so I just start capturing everything that's going on in my head. It doesn't matter if it's a project, a task, even if it's mine to do, right? That doesn't matter at this point. It's really just getting anything up to free up that space, getting anything out to free up that space. Uh, sometimes that can be overwhelming, like even knowing where to start. You know, we're all multifaceted. We have multiple components to our lives. So it can uh, it can help to categorize your life. So in you know if you break life into different components or categories and just start capturing what comes up for you in each of those categories, whether it's work or personal or kids, uh, it doesn't really matter what your categories are. It's just whatever makes sense to you. Um, you know, I had told you that I was going to keep these uh, videos short. I guess the one other thing I wanted to share is at this stage, I'm not actually um, assigning a date and time that I'm doing any of these uh, items. It's really just getting it out of my head. The only time where I might put a date on something is if, if let's say I had a birthday party that I wanted to buy a gift for, I might capture, you know, buy present and put a date by that I'd like to buy the um, present. But that's really it. I'm not scheduling these tasks into my day to day. That is for another time. And so like I mentioned, I was I was trying to keep these videos short. So I think I'm going to leave it here and let you play with this whole concept and process of using a brain dump. Uh, and maybe instead of a to-do list, I, I'm super curious what comes up for you. But so for the next week, play with this process. And until then, I hope you enjoy your journey. Thanks. Bye.